then what you got? Yes, there is. Back to you. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're starting off. Good morning, everybody. Uh, with a satellite and radar picture, and locally right now, we're okay in terms of any rainfall. We're dry, right? So you look to the north, though, and what do you see? This line of showers and storms. Now, this is actually associated with a cold front that's making progress. Another cold front, by the way, a stronger one than the one we just had roll through. And this one, it looks like, will bring potentially some showers as we get into the afternoon and early evening for Dallas, in fact, it was bringing some severe weather a little earlier. Right now, that uh, area of showers and storms is marching south, and as it does so, it will be weakening. But again, we still have a chance of that rain coming into play as we go into the afternoon. Let me show you that on the future cast. Notice here, as the PM hours uh, arise and uh, move into the area, we see this uh, cold front here bringing some showers scattered around southeast Texas. And for the early evening time as well, you can see where these red areas are. This will be a little bit more intense intense rain potentially the chance of that again about 50% especially in the mid afternoon to early evening time in the overnight hours it looks good we're okay we're dry but uh, in fact i think the thing you're going to notice tomorrow is the mugginess will be decreased a little bit behind that cold front, drier air moving in. So highs today around 89 degrees in the Houston area, a chance of that uh, afternoon rain. As we look at the school day planner, let's take a look at that and I'll give you an idea here in the morning time. We should be around 86 by lunch and 89 for the ride home. And again, the high temperatures today will be just a touch cooler than they were yesterday, 89 in Houston, 94 in Sugar Lane. Looking at the seven day forecast tomorrow, uh, we're in the upper 80s. We're going to cool off, but again, I think the drier air, you're really going to feel it on Thursday. Friday, a little warmer, and we start getting back into that lower to mid-90 range for the weekend and into next week. The warmest day looks like next Monday at 93 degrees. That is your forecast, everybody. We'll have more coming up a little later on. Back to you.